the first day of the two-day extraordinary meeting of parliament at its makeshift chamber at the Dome, the Speaker, Alban Bagbin, in his opening remarks, urged MPs to desist from abusing Article 112 of the Constitution, which compels speakers to recall members from their recess. He says he recalled the House based on three motions. A 250 million IDA financing agreement, some tax waivers, and three a possible reconsideration of a decision of the House on an earlier item that was taken on the 30th of July, 2024. In his remarks on the floor, the minority leader, Dr. Kesa Latuforsen, expressed reservations about the Electoral Commission, but the majority leader, Alexander Afenyo Markin, called for calm. The Electoral Commission has admitted that the voter register is riddled with irregularities and flaws. I dare say, Mr. Speaker, the scale of these irregularities is such that someone may have tempered with the voter register database. Mr. Speaker, I'm sorry to say that we cannot vouch for the integrity of the voter register as it stands at the moment. The details of these irregularities are so fatal and cannot be accepted. We therefore demand a forensic audit into the voter register database. I would want to plead with my respected colleagues to say that the Electoral Commission's register for the 2024 election is not credible, is very rich. Where we identify challenges, let's take these challenges on board. Let's not attack the Electoral Commission and erode the confidence that people have in the Electoral Commission and our democracy. Issues of the Electoral Commission were of concern to other MPs. There's been happenings in my Tamale South constituency of an easy transfer of voters from uh, Tamale South to Pusiga. Maybe the committee responsible for the Electoral Commission or your good self may want to invite her. Mr. Speaker, the Electoral Commission has 75,000 biometric devices which will be used for purpose of conducting the presidential and parliamentary elections on December 7. Mr. Speaker, those biometric devices, we have to subject it to some technical audit, one, to know the state of their batteries, two, the state of their adapters, three, the state of their readiness for elections on 7 December. We have done some background work, and we have realized that there is more than people think is happening. When we heard the information at first, it was about 26 people, Mr. Speaker. When we went to the ground, straightforward, we had about 32 people, Mr. Speaker. And there are thousands that are being reported at other places. This isn't just a mistake. The clerical errors contained on the form, Mr. Speaker, the Electoral Commission must take urgent steps to correct them. Otherwise, if colleague contestants sign off with those declarations, they'll be digging their own graves. For instance, paragraph 11 under part 4 of the parliamentary nomination forms, it is stated that I declare that I am disqualified as a registered voter under all related laws in this country. Mark Ewuziaku is the convener of Election Watch Ghana. He joins us on the line for uh, further uh, deliberations on this matter. Thank you, sir, for your time. The Electoral Commission maintains the current register is credible. Uh, should we not trust that the wait for it to go... Should we not trust that the Electoral Commission will go through this process uh, well ahead of the polls? Let me say a very good evening to you and to your cherished um, listeners and viewers as well. I think that the Electoral Commission's decision to sideline and do away with the tweet is very questionable. And to me, that will erode the little trust that the Ghanaian people have in the Electoral Commission. If you recall, first day, some equipment from the Commission got missing. And the election was done and came out specifically to say, that these equipment are in the hands of some unscrupulous people using it to register individuals and at the end of the day transfer them into or onto 
some of the constituencies for them to also vote. In fact, the Electoral Commission came out to dispel such allegations. And today, what we said in the past has come to bear, that there are many people who do not qualify, and there are many people who, even after we are done with transfer, the Commission is still transferring people. The Commission, again, have come out clearly to admit that there are errors within the register. And trust me, if there are errors in the register, how then do we charge the Electoral Commission that they can do a proper job? The errors that the Electoral Commission is not just an error, but a deliberate error, just to erode the trust and the confidence the Ghanaian people have in them. So, 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 are, are you one of those who will prescribe for an independent audit of the biometric register? We, we have asked for an audit into the register long ago when we wrote to the right to information to give us details of the Electoral Commission's biometric registration registration case, just so that we can be able to monitor the machines that are being used to register people during the limited voter registration and then during the mop-up. Unfortunately, the RTI and the Electoral Commission came together and did not heed to our call. We think that this is settlement to our democracy and it is a blatant slap as far as democracy is concerned.